Hi, I'm Monica Quinn. I'm a service coordinator in the Preschool Early Intervention Program for DCIU. I'm Joanne Fox. I'm, I am also a service coordinator for Early Intervention for DCIU. Today we're going to talk about transition from early intervention to school age programming and what it looks like for the families and children that we serve. The process begins around January of the year that the child is eligible to start for September. Each year we set up a meeting with the, school, the local school district representatives and invite the families in for a general overview of what happens and what parents can expect in the transition process. For this year, the meeting is scheduled for Thursday, January 9th, beginning at 7 p.m. in rooms 171 and 172 at our Morton building. This meeting is, a, is, is definitely a general overview meeting where families can get a little bit of an idea of what is gonna happen um, throughout the transition process. The other thing that we're working on simultaneously is making phone calls to all of the families of kids who are eligible to transition. This year we have about 600 kids throughout the school districts in Delaware County who are transitioning to school age programming. Our administrative assistants are hard at work in getting the meetings scheduled with the families where they can have an opportunity for an individual transition planning session with a representative of early intervention and a representative of their local school district. These meetings are usually held somewhere in a building at the local public school district area. Um, these are short meetings where families are given an opportunity to meet with folks that they would be interacting with in order to help prepare for their child's transition to, to kindergarten or first grade. Joanne, do you want to talk a little bit about what happens at those meetings? Yes. As part of the meeting, parents are, have the opportunity to discuss their child's strengths and needs, and during that meeting, they're, they're given a form to fill out what we call is the intent to register form, and that form allows us, once the, the parent reads it and gives permission, it allows us to share the child's IEP and evaluation report with the school district so that the school district has some comprehensive information about the child and then it starts the process of a long relationship that the family will have with their school district. We know that the transition process is hard and change is hard for our families and we try to help make the process as easy as possible. And the other thing that we that we like to do, in addition to making it easy, is is we the goal is is really to have everything in place so that the child gets a good start when they enter their local public schools for kindergarten or first grade. This year, something that we're doing that's different than years past is we're asking parents to reflect on their their child's strengths and needs, their vision for their child and other things that they think is important for the school district to know to help in the planning for their child's successful transition. So that form has gone out to all the parents of, of our students who are transitioning and we encourage the families to, to take some time and really fill it out so that everyone who is at that transition meeting and who is working on their child's behalf can really get an understanding of um, the parent's view of, of their child. If parents have any additional questions or concerns related to the transition process, we encourage you to reach out to your child service coordinator. And if you have any other um, information that you need about early intervention or any of the DCIU programs, you can visit us at www.dciu.org.